calculating load factor from the bank angle. The load factor, or amount of Gs generated, is dependent on the bank angle. Larger bank angles have a greater effect on the load factor. It's not a linear relationship. Both the load factor and a revised stall speed coefficient can be calculated using the following equations. Let's take a look in the flight computer. On screen. First, open the E6B JA app. Enter flight computer mode. Then scroll down the functions list and select load factor from bank angle calculator. We can see some default values here, which are just there to show the user how it works. We'll replace those later. We'll leave the stall speed at 50 knots for our configuration. In any case, the calculator will compute a revised stall speed at the given bank angle. Notice how inputting zero degrees as bank angle has no effect on the revised stall speed. It's the same as we entered and the load factor is still 1G. If we input a bank angle of 15 degrees, we'll see a tiny change in Gs, that is the load factor, and when rounded up, a one knot increase in the stall speed, that is 50.87 is 51 knots. Inputting a bank angle of 30 degrees, we see uh, a slightly larger but still a small change in Gs, 1.15 Gs, and a 3.75, uh, correction, 3.73, that is a four knot increase in the stall speed. At 45 degrees of bank angle, this results in a load factor of 1.41 Gs, and the revised stall speed is now 9.5 knots greater. At 60 degrees, that is the limit of a steep turn, which is non-aerobatic. That is, a turn greater than 30 degrees up to 60 degrees. We see the load factor has doubled to 2 Gs, and our revised stall speed is now rounded up to 71 knots. Engage.